that was some fun. Oh man, I am, I am looking forward to this. And watch out, everyone. There's a gigante. Remember them? Of course you don't. We are playing. <laughs> we are playing Tao Feng Fist of the Lotus. Um, yeah, quite a quite a quite a history with this game. I'm I'm sure we'll we'll get into it. Um, you know, I've been thinking about doing a Flophouse Files for Microsoft's weird early obsession with fighting games. They had three first-party published fighting games, not developed. But Microsoft Studios just were like, okay, we're just we're just publishing shitloads now. I mean, I'm kind of throwing DOA in there. I mean, it was it was an Xbox exclusive around that time, so I kind of count it. But I, I don't think that was precisely uh, published by Microsoft. No, because they were too busy pushing out, uh, crowning <laughs> Tao Feng, Fist of the Lotus, and Kakuto Chojin were crowning out of Microsoft's early fascination with with fighting games it's very very strange time i want to want to get into that story so this is a fighting game it's not a very very good one it's got some interesting ideas i'll try to find some positives if i can but i i can't make promises so off the bat this is like one of the worst looking menus i've seen it's so bad looking man uh let's go into training you know hit some buttons just for a little bit before I, I dive into, I guess, quest mode? I'm assuming quest mode is like an arcade ladder. I don't know what tournament is. Maybe it's like to get like eight of your friends to uh, put up with your weird video game bullshit and say, want to play Tao Feng? And then, then you just hear a door closing and all, and all your friends are gone. Training. <laughs> training. <laughs> Let's do some freeform training, training mode. All right, so here's your characters, Master Sage, Fiery Phoenix. Fiery Phoenix, like that's a silly name. Maybe Fire Phoenix would have been better, but they went with Fire or Blaze Phoenix. You know, those are actually not bad names. They're like, they're like fucking bosses in a Mega Man X game. It's not too bad. Fierce Tiger, Tiger, no, not too bad. Man, that girl's packing it. Damn, girl. That's a thick ass girl. Uh, Divine Fist. You know, there's there's lots of ways a a name with fist and it could be worse than that. You know, Iron Fist would have been cool. Any almost anything would have been a bit cooler. Jade Dragon. It's not a bad name. I her design is so forgettable though. She's like a boss from like I don't know. Like an early like GTA style ripoff game. Like she's the boss of Chinatown, or you know, Jade Dragon's not a bad name, obviously. Iron Monk, I guess they used Iron. He's not terrible. There's parts of him I like. The color scheme's a little, you're just kind of eh. But I like that he has no mouth. That's not bad. Wulong Goth is goddamn dreadful. I hate pretty much everything about this guy. If he had a reptile face. Or like like a green face that would have gone a little bit better, but it just like some asshole with a bad cosplay. The Fatalist. Now, for those that don't know, most of you do, I'm sure. Uh, John Tobias, the co-creator of Mortal Kombat, who designed most of the characters and and did the story. I shouldn't say designed most. I think he designed all of them. This guy is like I'm sorry. He's just Kano with a bit more armor. Like, he even has Kano's little glowing chest dealie that he used to have in some games. Like, MK... Actually, no, in MK1 and MK3 had it, too. And he's, and he's called the Fatalist. Like, really? We couldn't have thought of something that was, was like, less like a fatality? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm picking some nits here. Exile. Now, he's not, he's not terrible. Like, he's, he's standard. He feels like he'd fit into... Mortal Kombat Deception or Deadly Alliance or what have you. Exile's not a, an awful name, but, you know, he's one of the better ones. Geist. Now, no, not the GameCube game. I like her really, really long ponytails, but again, like John Tobias, you're just putting girls in thongs. I don't, you know, it, it, was, it was of the age, I get that, but, like, 
you don't want all your female characters to look interchangeable and the only thing is that they got thongs on and they're just different colors. You have a girl in a thong. I have two girls in a thong. Like, for double thong it up. That's okay. Uh, but when they're all like that, they, they're way less memorable. I mean, Jade Dragon's okay, but she's still wearing the lead of thong. Over, over the sides, over the bum sides there. And, like, if here's Tiger again, it's really, really form-fitting. Let's check out the next girl. I think she might be a bit different. No, she's not. She just looks like she's, like, in the love, the Egyptian love room of your love hotel. You know, again, I, I couldn't tell you this character apart from most of the others. Vapor. Vapor is not a bad name. Again, you know, really similar to the others. Like, they're all gray. They're all gray or white. The, the last three. Like, come on. At least Fierce Tiger and Jade Dragon have, have a bit of color to them. So, uh, you know what? I'll take Jade Dragon. Jade Dragon. She has a second costume. So, this is another thongy thing. It's actually a lot like the other girls, but I don't mind the color scheme, and I don't mind the face paint. Yeah, this is turning into a crime scene of critiques, actually. Master Sage. The Master Sage. Uh, sure, I guess. Not, not really. Fiery Phoenix. You know, it, it's mostly a lot of colors. I think I actually like that maybe a bit more. It's fine. Uh, let's go to Fierce Tiger. Fierce Tiger. I should have done this earlier. That, okay, at least that's taking it literally. Jeez, that ass, that ass is just... Whew. Um, Divine, Divine, Divine Fist, really, now that I'm looking at it, really feels like one of Kung Lao's costumes. Like in Deadly Alliance. It's gray and green. We saw hers. All right, Monk. Monk. That's a better color scheme. That's actually not that bad. I think that's 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 strong at, uh, at the very least. Wulong Goth. That's not any better. That's actually maybe worse. Fa the, la fatalist. the Fatalist, yes. That color scheme is actually better. I like the half and half on the blue. I don't mind that. Exile. 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 I like that a bit more. It makes him look a little bit more unique, that color scheme. It doesn't make him look like just some asshole of tribe tats. It makes him kind of look like a weird creature mutant, which is a bit more interesting. Geist. Geist. Uh, I think that's a bit better. I like the golden color, actually. I like the knifey things, whatever they are, coming out of her back. I actually think this is an improvement. Let's check out Divinity. Divinity. Um, I think the black is cooler. It's essentially the same costume. Just a little bits and bobs. Eh. Vapor. I don't know. They're, they're much too the same. Whatever. Let's take J Dragon. Let's take this other costume. Uh, let's take Exile. There you go. I like these little movies. Movie movies reminds me of Killer Instinct. Uh, so, you know, I do remember very much that, that Tao Feng has some interesting ideas. I think most of them don't really work. Uh, but they're interesting ideas nonetheless. Not that many stages. Let's go there. Bring it, baby! Ready? Why they start go. them so close? So, the first thing about this is as soon as you move the character, it just feels awful. Like, it just feels really unresponsive. And whatever, to me. You know, I, I, I really hope if I get down to the story mode, I'll just have some dumb fun with this. But it's just one of those things. Like, the designs are not super, super impressing me. And it's like, the fighting system is not super, super impressing me. So, like, why, you know... Stance switching. Sure. I, I, again, I'm not sure if this is a Jade Dragon thing. Maybe, maybe everyone can switch stances. I actually forget. What I do remember about this game is that you can do specific damage to body parts and they, they can't use them. Like their body parts become numb or something. There you go. His limb has been damaged. I'm just trying to shoulder buttons do nothing. All right, black and white buttons throw bullshit. Can you play hard? I have no idea what you said, girl. Alright, that seems to be like a universal throw. Player one. Player one what? 
so that is your super move. See, look, look at the. Oh my God, bad idea. You know, if that if that guy hates today's Mortal Kombat games animation, take a look at Tao Feng. All right, that pumps up my meter. Good to know. It's she, of course it is. Of course it is. Alright, I think I figured out all the mechanics of Tao Feng. I'm good. Let's do quest. Hopefully this is the correct mode. So, Pale Lotus. This is the sect, or Black Mantis. Uh, uh Black Mantis, I guess? Oh, I can only take the bad guys. Alright, let's, let's take Exile. You know, yeah. <laughs> I see pieces one, which makes me really nervous. The legend of the immortal of the South Pole. <laughs> like Santa Claus? Uh, he's the North Pole. A myth of great antiquity exists amongst the Pale Lotus, Black Mantis, and Eastern Sun Sex. According to this myth, there was an immortal celestial known as Sh Shao Xing, or Nan Chi Lao Zhen, Old Man of the South Pole. He was known for setting the date of a person's death and for possessing the peach of immortality. I can eat a peach for hours. It's believed that one could win uh, through and reach Shao Xing in the South Pole and present him with sufficient treasures to win his favor the god of longevity would grant the gift of immortality. Immor That's the story. Oh! Our agents in Metro China have obtained the Yin tablet of Xi Hao. This tablet holds secrets to the locations of six of Xi Hao's precious treasures of the perfect harmony temple. <laughs> These cryptic messages have been deciphered by our own divinity. The <laughs> gift of clairvoyance has served. Is this Scientology? Well. This stupid ped uh, Predacon logo. Why is there so many skip buttons? There's like four of them. Now, you must use this information to bring me one of these objects. So, your success will bring me one step closer to gaining entrance into Sho Sing's palace. So Sing, okay. One step closer to resting the. All right, good. I stopped that guy from talking. It's what I wanted. So, uh, having like one bad guy faction and one good guy faction, and I guess the endings might change. That's not a bad idea. I uh, faction warfare. It's you know, uh, you could do it. Let's let's fight Jade Dragon. I think we can we do that. I'm so nervous about how this is gonna go, but they're gonna have to prepare for pain. Do you need a reason to defeat her? She is young and incompetent, <laughs> and the great granddaughter of Master I'm fucking Sage. Batista over Destroying here. Destroying her will crush his will, but more importantly, it will please me. Who are you, though, sir? <laughs> Two thousand three. <laughs> so, oh wow! So this stage doesn't look too bad. I like the rain effects. And that blood doesn't look too bad either, honestly. I wonder why that wasn't in training mode, or maybe I didn't realize it. Throw! Throw her! I want to throw. Oh. It doesn't come out consistently, but that's okay. Backbreaker's not bad. That was a lot of damage. Let's do my chi thing. Okay. That went well. And I think the characters take... Maybe they take visible damage? I, I can't remember that precisely. Wow, the jumping! Holy shit! Oh, wow, what? What? Oh my god, my, my move can't do anything! I can't block! Man, this laggy connection! Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked now. Alright, this... Oh my god, with the pile driver! It's like a tombstone! That's actually super sick! What the shit? That almost didn't hurt, hurt her. Oh my god, I brought that back! Wait, is this best out of five? Wait, wh why are we still fighting? Oh my god, no, it's like Killer Instinct rules. 
Uh, I'm so confused. Okay, it's a good thing I, st I stuffed her fucking super. Okay, that's a good button. Oh! Okay, thank God. Sure, sure, Exile, you did good. So I completed one part of the ancient uh, girdle, whatever we're, <laughs> we're trying to piece together. Uh, so let's go for Iron Monk. Uh, hard as iron, smooth as silk. The storied exploits of past Iron Monks within the Black Mantis. The fuck's behind Stanley me? He was in line to carry forward that heritage, but he has defiled our set with his betrayal. Destroy him those pandas! And send a message to all those who would dare oppose me. Excited for those pandas. So is he, are you like a robot, sir? I'm excited if you're a robot. Player one. Uh, so it seems like you can also heal yourself. When you're low on health, you have like a little heal icon there that lights up. I don't know how to do that, though. Oh, shit. Player two. Limb damage! Arm damage, all punches cause 50% less damage. Okay, fair enough. I don't mind that. Whoa, that wasn't a bad combo. What the fuck is that creature over there? Can I let that loose? Oh, Iron Monk looks pretty fucked up though, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah! Did I win? Exile is the victor. Okay, so let's go fight a thick tiger. A cat always lands on her feet. This tiger wow. Is a pretender to her position within the pale lotus. Crush her without remorse and bring yourself one step closer to an eternal place as my enforcer. Defeat her and move on to more important. Battles. Wow, how dismissive. I feel like fierce tigers, like, everything has to be cats. Very cat like. It's very scary, lady. Um, she's just like, my stupid asshole cat keeps not shitting in its box. It's very frustrating. Now, there's a pole back there. How Whoa! Oh, just straight up power bomb! Oh my god, almost like a last ride. So, th that just seems to be random throws just come out of my throw. I, I don't know if I'm pressing that. I mean, graphically, also, this game isn't bad. Like, it's it's it lags behind, like, Dead or Alive, you know, judging from other Xbox fighting games, I'd say, at the time. What came out at this time? Uh, Dead or Alive uh, 3, right? For the Xbox? So... It doesn't look as good as that, but I have to say, just the graphical polish on the stages and the characters, they're not, they're not, it's not woeful anyway. Oh my god, lobster, whoa, girl, that was nuts. My arm, it's like fucking Shadow of Mordor, it's like, you're the person that slightly bruised my arm. So against all odds, I am having fun, so there's that. I think that's it. Exile is the winner. He does really remind me of Batista's character in uh, Man with the Iron Fists. What is this brass body, brass nipples? What was his name? You have collected your third quest. Uh huh. That's it. Okay, cool. All right, Fiery Phoenix. I will keep Fiery Phoenix for last. So let's go to the Southern Pole to uh, fight the, uh, the 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 stretched fist. Archaeological dig. I feel like there's a lot of lore, truth, harmony, and justice. That Divine wow. Fist. He feels that it is his duty to bring you to justice. He has been a thorn in our side since we first set foot in Metro China. End his meddling ways by defeating him. Do this in honor of all that the Black Mantis has fought so hard to Are achieve. Are we the baddies? I don't get it. Man, you can set you can set your clock to that haircut. It's the real Johnny Unitas. Oh, work that pull, Divine Fist! You love it! Okay, I don't I don't know if I'm beating good old Divine Fist here. Very strong this guy. Limb damage alert. Limb damage alert. Incoming limb damage. Alright, that's a death right there. I'm happy. You know what's really bad? When you get crossed up and the camera angle changes, your controls kind of reverse. Which is great for a fighting game. You, you love to see it. Limb damage alert. 
Oh, got him. Thank God. Exile is the winner. They, they're very mighty. Don't worry, Exile. Everyone fears you. What happens then? We well, we can go to Yen Lo Tower and fight a uh, Farty Phoenix. That where where is the Black Mantis clan? Maybe it's the place that has the Black Mantis the statue. Is the young son of Jin Feng. Your mission was to destroy the entire Feng family, but somehow the boy escaped. He is now reemerged as a member of the Pale Lotus. He Not the White the Lotus from Mortal Kombat. That That's different. To fully carry out one of my orders. Very flexible. Very nice. Prepare. Fight. Fight. Not the best start. Uh, those don't do all that much damage. Maybe it's situationally dependent, but... Oh my god! Oh! Uh, that, was, that was pretty neat. Oh, one more hit. One more hit. Come on, come on, come on, Fiery Phoenix! You're dead! Oh! Was that enough? Oh! Jesus Christ, people, you have no idea how long that took. Fuck this game. And there's still a final boss, I'm assuming. You have collected your sixth and final quest item. Well, did it win a million bucks? What? What, what happened? Sorry, you none of the characters have their own endings? So that's Tao Fang, Fist of the Lotus. Um That sucks. Am I am I am I reading that wrong? Each character doesn't actually have their own ending. You might get two endings at most, one ending for good guys, one ending for bad guys. Uh and that fight against Fiery Phoenix was not fun at all. Uh maybe it's my bad. He's actually a really good character and I I left him for last. Cause I, I don't know why. What the shit was that JoJo pose? Anyway, um, this is still not a really great fighting game. I'm sorry if all y'all like it. I don't. Any other fighting games you'd like me to play on the channel? Let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll 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 try my hardest.